Today I want to take a look at how to send an email from Power Automate Desktop. So PAD, Power Automate Desktop, cool program, lets you automate some of your local applications, things like opening a web page or Excel spreadsheet. Here we're looking at a flow sequence of eight steps. We're going to declare a couple of variables and then basically launch MS Edge, take a picture, and send an email. Uh, the first few variables, we'll go ahead and talk about them, current day and time, the temp environment variable, which for those of you from the old DOS command line days, or percent temp, or in the new PowerShell world, env temp. And then we're going to replace some characters, the forward slash and the colon. We'll go ahead and replace those and take them out. So in the end, we get a more complete file name. So more than half of the flow is making a file name for a picture. Okay, cool. We're going to open Edge to a web page. Easy enough. We're going to take a picture of that web page into file name. And file name was all of that stuff up there. We're then going to email that. Let's go into the email step and check it out a little bit more. Let's go into the email step and check it out a little bit more. So here we have a from and to with a subject, easy enough. We have a sender display name. We have a body. And then down here, we put an attachment. I got that from the letter X with the curly braces, which is a variable picker to go ahead and see what variables are in the system. And I picked out file name for this one. We'll go ahead and save it. And up here, we can go ahead and hit run to let this execute. We'll see everything highlighted in blue as it moves down the sequence. It kind of goes through fairly quickly. Eight steps, running, and now it says status of ready, which means it completed. And if, I come, if we come over to the browser, I now have a new email with a subject line and a timestamp of the image and a screenshot attached to it. Go into the screenshot and see the web page that was open during the test. Now the way we're able to accomplish this is that the send email step under the SMTP heading has a couple of very specific settings. Number one, the SMTP server. Number two, the port number. Three, SSL is on. Four, needs authentication. And five, are credentials down here. So you have a high number of parts, basically filling in everything on the advanced section for how to connect to SMTP. In addition to that, you need to go to the command line and you need to turn on SMTP for your tenant. Now, some people might not want to do this, security reasons. They may not like SMTP. They may not like the idea of routing email for various application services. That's okay. It's turned off by default. You have to go and turn it on. So to do that and to turn things on, you would need to run these commands, install the module, Exchange Online Management, import the module, connect to Exchange. Oh, there it is, opening up a session. Cool stuff. And here we can set the transport configuration to disabled is true. And if we do that, when we attempt to execute, we should see a failure now. And I kind of like showing the failure as a way of getting contrast of what it looks like when the mail works, what it looks like when mail doesn't work. Kind of have a little bit of both. All right, so with the setting disabled true, our email step will fail. And when we open up the failure log, this is the message we will see. And it's going to say, failed to send email message. SMTP is disabled for the tenant. Visit blah, blah, blah to learn more. Okay, there's our link to go learn more. That link will explain everything and it will provide the PowerShell code to turn things on. Luckily, I already have that PowerShell code in front of us. So I'll go ahead and run the same command with faults. That turns it back in a direction where we can run this flow successfully and get email message coming through. So that's how you send an email message from Power Automate Desktop. It also covers the PowerShell for your tenant administrator to turn it on. Hope you found it helpful. Thanks for watching.